today we are going to see the derivation of merchant equation so what does this equation do is that it gives us the angle at which the the energy required for plastic deformation or shear deformation is very minimum we have already learned in the previous uh, sessions that when the shear plane angle is high then the shear plane length will be less so when the shear plane length is less the power required to do the shear deformation also will be minimum so what is that angle at which the shear plane length will be minimum is 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 given by merchant so we are going to consider the force system so this we are going to use the the force uh, the shear force system for, for the purpose of deriving merchant equation so we are going to use the shear force uh, shear force system so we have the uh, cutting force fc and the tangential force ft and the resultant r this angle is alpha that is the rake angle this angle already we have known from previous derivation this is beta minus alpha so let us name this o e b then another triangle we are going to look at this is the shear plane is the shear force o a e this angle is nothing but beta minus alpha so let us take the triangle o e b if you take the triangle o e b triangle o e b we have cos beta minus alpha equal to fc by r then if you take the triangle o e a we have cos phi plus beta minus alpha equal to fs by r so we have So we can rewrite this as R equal to F C divided by cos beta minus alpha, and this one, this particular thing can be written as R equal to F S divided by cos phi plus beta minus alpha. We already know that the mean mean shear stress to M is equal to fs by as in other words fs equal to to m into as that is equal to to m into bt divided by sin phi previous derivations we have learned these things so if you rearrange these things we will get the let us take this one so we will write in terms of uh, fs fs equal to fc into cos cos of phi plus beta minus alpha so fs equal to fs into divided by cos beta minus alpha so this is 1 This is two. Now we equate these two. We will get we get two m b t sine phi divided by sine phi equal to f c. 
this 1 by cos beta cos cos beta minus alpha will become secant beta minus alpha into cos phi plus beta minus alpha so tau m is equal to fc secant beta minus alpha into cos phi plus beta minus alpha into sin phi the whole thing divided by bt now now we have to differentiate the uh, now we have to differentiate this equation and equate it to zero we are going to differentiate with respect to fc respect to differentiating fc with respect to phi so we will get that is equal to cos phi plus beta minus alpha into cos into cos phi plus sin phi into minus sin phi plus beta minus alpha if you differentiate with respect to phi you will get like this equating this to zero we will get cos 2 phi plus beta minus alpha equal to zero so 2 phi plus beta minus alpha equal to cos inverse of zero is pi by two so we have phi equal to pi by four plus alpha divided by two minus beta divided by two this equation is called merchant equation this helps us to determine the angle at which the energy required will be minimum